Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, thanks. Hello, it's a pleasure to see you once again in another class. Thank you very much for your homework. I have been reading many of them and I am going to start sending the corrections one by one as soon as I receive all of them. Okay, so I was checking uh, your stories and all the things that you include on uh, your homework and they are very interesting. We still have like little issues with things. Tomorrow I am going to get uh, some examples of homework and we're going to correct them together, okay? And you are going to see some of the little mistakes that we have uh, made on at the moment of writing. For example, I am going to take a one just, just like that, okay? Uh, for example, I have the Maris here and it says, Sophia is my daughter, is three years old. And in this case, you can say Sophia is three years old. She is my daughter, right? She gets up at 8 a.m. in the morning. She eats breakfast at nine and the most of the day, she loves to play and she likes watches. She likes watches. She likes to watch, right? She likes to watch in this case. Little heroes in the television. She doesn't like eat fruit and vegetables. She doesn't like to, right? In this case. And she loves eats fried potatoes. She loves to eat. Después de love, después de like, después de want, va un infinitivo, remember. And X, she's very smart and she's very sweet with her mommy. Good. So Damaris, take note. I don't know if Damaris is here yet, but as soon as she comes or when she watches the video, she is going to check on, on the corrections, right? And uh, I am going to do the same tomorrow with all of them, right? We're going to go and check one by one the paragraph that you have sent so we can check on the mistakes and we can learn from each other, right? That's what we are going to do. That's a very important part of this. Please, if you haven't sent me the paragraph, I need you to send it to me because I need to check everybody, right? I need to check everybody's paragraph and we are going to learn from this. Well, so yesterday we were talking about what? What do you remember from yesterday? Ajá, uh ajá. -huh. A ver el cuaderno. Vamos al cuaderno. About the <laughs> We did the third person singular, yes. the verbs. Good. What else? What else do you remember? What did we do yesterday that you remember? We created sentences, right? We created sentences. What else? What else do you remember from yesterday's class? Mm -hmm. A ver, ya no se acuerdan que hicimos ayer? Find the, the mistake. The text. We found mistakes, right? We found mistakes on the sentences. We read a text. That's very good. Text of the, of, about the name. Okay. Right, we, we read a text about names. Yes, that's very good. What else did we do? What else did we do yesterday? We made a little introduction about the topic for today. Do you remember what will be the topic for today? Uh -huh. We made a little introduction and I say, I am a student, I work at a restaurant, I go to the about university. What, what do you do? About what do you do? About the WH questions, right? We made a little introduction for the WH questions. Interesting, very important. So let's see. This is the last thing that we did yesterday, right? This is the final thing that we did yesterday. And uh, here we go. We have the WH questions. 
the WH questions with simple present. And we were practicing what, where, and also how for the first person and the third person. When you say, for example, what do you do? I am a student, if you are talking about the first person. But if you are talking about another person, for example, your mother, your father, you say, what does she do? Ah, you say, ah, she is a teacher, she is a doctor, she is a nurse. She works at a hospital, for example, okay? So this is the way we use it. This is the way we uh, connect information about other people. And this is what you were doing in the paragraph that you sent me. Right now, for example, if I ask you the question and let me write the question for everybody, I am going to do it here. I am going to add, a new one, then I am going to write just the information here. And we're going to talk about a person in your family. Who is he or who is she? What is, uh, what does he, or she do and what are his or her activities at the work. Okay, I need you please to get, if you have, for example, if you have a picture, if you have the person, if you have the member of your family right there with you, you can use it, okay? Que no le dé pena salir en esta noche en su clase. You are going to call one person in your house and you are going to tell me who is she or he. What does he or she do? And what are the activities that you do that he or she does at his work? For example, I am going to call, I am going to call, let's see, well, as I don't have him right now, right here, let me get a picture of him. Okay. Let's see if I have one. He, my God, I don't have a picture right here. Let me get it. <laughs> okay, okay. I am going to do the example for everybody. Let's see. Okay, I am going to do the example with him. Ta -da! I will say like, who's he? You are going to ask me. Who's he? Uh -huh. Pregunte. Who, who is he? Who is he? Who is she? No, it's he. It's a he. It's a he. Ah, okay. It's a he. Uh, he is my son. What does, what what does, does he do? What does he what do? Does he do? He is a student. What are his activities at work? A student. Okay, what are his activities at work or at school? Well, he reads, he practices, he paints, he colors, he learns, he speaks English, he uh, plays with other kids, and he has fun. Right, Th those are the activities that he does at school. So that is the same thing that you are going to do. You can do it with a picture or with a real person. If you have the person right there, you can do it. Or for example, let's see. Let's see if I have my other example here. And you are going to say, for example, who is she? And then you get your other member of the family here. Ta -da! And then you have your pet, right? Ta -da! And say, like, who is she? Ah, she's Chiara. And what does she do? She's my pet. What are the activities that she does every day? Uh, she plays, she eats, she jumps, she destroys things. She uh, has fun and she loves me a lot. Okay. Examples. So you can have a real example or a picture. 
but I need you to give me your part of the example. I am going to give you some minutes for you to get ready. And then when you are ready, you can tell me, okay, teacher, I want to present. Puede agarrar a alguien que está en su casa and you say like, who's he, who's she? And then you can- Teacher, I am alone. <laughs> and then you do your cut. You, oh, you can use a picture. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Rosario, who's he? Who is he? Song. He is my song, you say. Oh. He is my song. What, well, what does he do? <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. What does he do? What is his, his job? Is he a student or a lawyer, an engineer? I don't know. A student. <laughs> He's a my student. student. He is a student, He is a student. Right? He is a student. student. And what does he do at his job? What does he do at, he, at his school, for example? The what school. Are, uh -huh. What does he do? He, um, he, um, school, uh, ¿Qué hacemos en la escuela? He studies. Eh, está ahí, está en física. <laughs> ok, es, he, he exercises. Exercise. He exercises, he studies. What else? Está ahí, eh, está ahí. Um, ¿Qué más le puedo decir, teacher? <laughs> he... He's really, really, right. He, he writes. writes. He writes. writes. He writes. Good. Very he good. Writes. Thank you, Rosario. Thank you very much. Elizabeth, who's she? She's my mom. She is your mom. What does she do? She's, what do you say? Ama de casa. She's a housewife. She's a housewife. She's a ha housewife. Housewife. And what okay. are the activities that she do? That she does every day? She she cook. She cooks. She clean. Cleans. She sleep every sleeps. every much. <laughs> she sleeps a lot. <laughs> She, um, she, um, how do you say it? Regaña. <laughs> she lectures, lectures me. You say she lectures me. No, no, or she, le she le lectures, lectures. I'm going to she write it right here. Wait, 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 wait. She let, let, let. Lectures. Lectures. Uh, That's the word. She lectured, she lectured the, the cat. <laughs> she lectures the cat. Okay. Thank you, Elizabeth. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Mr. Luis Arevalo, who's he? He is my son. And what does he do? Hello. Hello. He is a student. He is a student. What are the activities that he does at the school? Oh, uh, he writes. He, he writes. Reads. He reads. Uh, uh, exercise. He exercises. He exercises. He exercises. Good. Play with others. Kids. He plays. With your friends. Okay. He plays with Play his with friends. Play with your friends. With his. With his friends. Very good. Sonia. Thank you, Luis. Okay. Sonia, go ahead. Your microphone. Yes. My question. Yes. I can listen to you. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I can listen yes. to you. Who's he? He's my, he's my husband. Oh, what does he do? He's a mechanic. Mechanic. 
Which is a mechanic, a mechanic. Good. And yes. what are the activities that he does at his job? Uh, he plays soccer. Uh -huh. <laughs> what a cool he, job. <laughs> <laughs> he drives. He drives. Um, only that. And he fixes, he's a mechanic. So the mechanics yes. fixes cars. He fixes yes. cars. What else? He works in the garage. In the garage is El Taller, right? He works yes. in the garage. Good. Nice to meet you, husband of Sonia. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Very good. It is. Go ahead. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. She is my daughter's name. Ah, what a cute thing. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, I his work, yeah, for sure. <laughs> his job is to be beautiful. <laughs> what <laughs> are his favorite activities? Uh, his favorite activity is jump. He jumps, it, it jumps, it's, uh -huh. what else? It. Um, and es traviesa, no sé cómo se dice. <laughs> She's naughty. Naughty, naughty. She's naughty. She's naughty. She's naughty. It's very funny. And she's very fun. Okay, thank you very much, yeah. Iris, for showing your pet. Hey, that was very good. <laughs> Let me see. I need one more volunteer. One more volunteer. Thank you very much, it is. Thank you. Let's see. Where are the Elizabeth, rest? Elizabeth. No, Elizabeth already did it. <laughs> she was the second one. Where are the rest of my students? I cannot see any cameras on. Estaba dormido. Él estaba dormido. Oh, see, yeah, yeah, I remember. Okay, <laughs> Nancy, who's he? <laughs> Uh, I have two children. Okay. They study, play, watch TV. <laughs> Among others, you say. They, oh, stu they study, they play, they watch TV. And when uh, you use the phrase, among others, it's oh, like oh, entre otros, right? <laughs> Among <laughs> others, <laughs> right? <laughs> entre otras cosas. Very okay. good job. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Nancy. Very good job. Very Nancy good. Maldonado, who are you going to present? The microphone, sweetie. I, I cannot listen to you. Good evening. Hi. Hi. Who's he? Oh, who's she? <laughs> she, she is my daughter. Okay, I think she's a student, yes or no? Yes. And what are the activities that she does at her school? Uh, she takes a shower each morning. Very good. Uh, she have a brief, has a breakfast. She has breakfast, good. Uh, seven o'clock, uh, she likes meal with <laughs> Cereal. Yes. Uh, she watches TV and she plays with neighbors. She plays very nice. She plays with her neighbors. So thank you very much. As you can see, we have used the third person singular in order to introduce people in the real life, right? In the chat is easy because you can think about what you are going to write and everything, but in the real life, it's different when you just have to produce at the moment, right? And I was using the different questions, right? What do you do? What activities does uh, the person uh, do at their job or at their occupation? And for sure about their profession or occupation. I have here a short practice for the WH question. We have to be very careful at the moment of reading the answers, right? When we read the answers, we are going to get for sure the response for the space that we are missing. 
In this case, I have here, what do you do? I am a full-time student. I study the violin. And to school, I to the New York School of Music. What do you think is the question that we need for this second uh, space that we have? And it says to the New York School of Music. You have a place in the answer. What do you need in the question? What do you need in the question if you have a place in the answer? And where do you go to school? Where do you go? Very good. And where, where do you go? Okay, where do you go? To school. I, it says, where do you go? And say, I. I go. I go, right? I go to the New York School of Music. Wow. Do you like your classes? I them a lot. What? What? We are asking when? for a manner. When do you? How? How, right? It says how. How do you like your classes? Thank you, Maximo. How do you like your classes? I like them a lot, right? How do you like? How do you like your classes? I like them a lot. The next one, what Tanya do? She's a teacher. What? What does? What does, what does. What does Tanya do? She's a teacher. She, an art class at school in Denver. If she's a teacher, what does she do? She, teach. she teaches. She teaches. Very good. She teaches. She teaches an art class at a school in Denver. And what about Ryan? Where he work? Where does? does. Where does he work? He. Where does he work? He. Works. Works. He works. He works for a big computer company in San Francisco. He do exactly. Where? What does he do? What? Because it is a general what? question, right? What does he do exactly? What? He's a website designer. What do the designers do? What do designers do? Uh -huh. ¿Qué hacen los diseñadores? De, ¿Cómo se dice diseñar? A designer. <laughs> designs. Designs. A designer designs, right? Designs. And designs. A designer designs. He designs. Yes. Fantastic websites. Fantastic websites, right? He designs fantastic websites. A designer designs, right? <laughs> That's what he does. Let's see. Conversation one is going to be with Nancy Maldonado and Luis Arevalo. Go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> what do you uh, do? I'm a full-time student. I study the violin. And where do you go to school? I go to, the, to New York School of Music. Wow. How do you like your classes? I like them a lot. Very good job. Thank you very much. Mr. Luis, don't eat words, okay? I am a, I am a full-time student. You say, I I'm a full-time student. I am a full-time student. I study the violin, the violin. Violin. Okay, the violin. Conversation two, Rosemary and... Chin, chin, chin. Mr. Juan. Hey, what, where, where did Mr. Juan go? Se me perdió. I lost Mr. Juan. Come on. Okay, Rose, <laughs> Rosemary. Okay. okay, go ahead. I found you, yay. What does Tanya do? She is a teacher. She teaches an art class at a school in Denver. And what about Ryan? Where does he work? 
He worked for a big computer company in San Francisco. What does he do exactly? He is a web series designer. He designed fantastic web series. Okay. He's a website designer. Website, like the internet. Website. Yeah. He's website. a website designer. Website designer. Website designer. He designs. He designs. Fantastic websites. Fanta fantastic websites. Websites. Good. The next one yeah. is going to be Sonia and Maximo. Conversation one. What do you do? Sonia? Miss Sonia? Sonit, hello, Sonia, Sonia. Hey. Hello. Sonia. <laughs> she's hello. there, she's there. Go ahead, go Sonia. ahead. There you go. Hello. You go. Okay. What do you do? I'm I'm a full-time student. I study the violin. And where do you go to school? I go to the new the New York School of Music. Wow. How do you like your classes? I like them a lot. Excellent job. Very nice. Yes. And the next one will be, uh, let me see, Emperatriz and Vilma. Okay. Okay. The one. Number two. Number two. Oh, number two. Okay. What does Tanya do? She's a teacher. She teaches an art class at school in Denver. And what about, about Ryan? Where does he work? He works for a big computer company in San Francisco. What does he do exactly? He's a website designer and he designs fantastic websites. Excellent job. Very nice. Very nice job. Okay. So, as you can see here, we have to be very careful at the moment of using the WH words and the WH uh, questions at the moment of creating them because we need to make sure about the answer that we want and the answer that we are going to get. Okay. Very nice job. Based on this topic, right, we are going to review a little bit of the prepositions, right? This is a topic that I know that you have studied before because it is not new, but we are going to refresh a little bit on how to use the prepositions of uh, at in and on. These are prepositions of time, right? That we use them to express precise time, the months, the years, the decades, the centuries, and on that is used for days and dates. This is important because we sometimes confuse them. And you say in when you have to use on, or will you use in when you have to use at, right? We need to be very careful. At, we use at for precise times. You say at 10.30, at eight o'clock, at bedtime, at breakfast, at night, for example. In, in which cases do you use in? Can you help me to read? In which cases do you use in? Uh -huh. In is years, decades, centuries, and long periods of time. Very good. You use in for months, years, decades, centuries, and long periods of time. Examples? In 16 years time, in 1991, in December. In December, very good. And what about on? In which cases do you use on? Tell me. On is used for days and dates. For days and dates. Very good. What are the examples that we have for on? On a summer evening. On, on a summer Christmas evening. day. Very good. On Christmas on Friday. On Christmas and on Friday. Very good job. So in these cases, we have to remember a specific periods of time, right? At 
for specific times, for precise times, clock times, and in for use, uh, you use in for months, years, decades, centuries. For example, you say I was born in September, in October, right? In November. And on for specific days and dates, on Mondays, on Tuesdays, on Saturdays, on Fridays, right? Now I am going to show you my second part of the presentation. Let me just open it. Let's see. Okay, just give me one second. I'm going to open the next one. Chen, chen, chen. Oh, I have it right here. Let me just share it. Number six and number seven. I think this one is. Okay, I am going to share it again. Do you know any other time expressions, people? Any other type of time expressions? Besides at, in, and on? Times. Sorry? Times. A specific times, uh-huh. Sometimes. Sometimes, good. Those are mostly adverbs of frequency. A specific time expressions. Do you remember any other one? Around. Around, right, you can use around. Very good. Always. Always, right? Always. Usually. Usually. Very nice. After. Never. Uh, never. Good. After. Those are those are mostly adverbs of frequency when you say like uh, sometimes, right? But in this case, it is okay. A specific time expressions. Do you have any idea of a specific time expressions? After. After. Right, good, very good. Before. What about uh -huh, after, before? What about every year? Every day? Every Monday, right? Every. Every is another time expression that is very popular. But this is a specific, right? A specific time. And I am going to show you here. Let me open back my presentation. Here it is. Here we have the different time expressions on which you use at, in, and on. Okay, for these time expressions, as I was explaining you, we have, I get up at seven. As you can see here, it is a specific time. Mm. You can say at seven in the morning on, week, on weekdays. You are being very specific. Okay, aquí nadie se pierde en qué momento se levanta, right? I wake up at seven in the morning on weekdays. I go to bed around 10, 10. Alrededor de las 10, in the evening on weeknights. I leave work early, early, right? This is another time expression, early. In the afternoon on weekends. I get home late at night on Fridays, right? I stay up until midnight, hasta la medianoche on Saturdays. I wake up before noon or afternoon on Sundays. Do you wake up before noon or afternoon on Sundays? Before. <laughs> before noon, right? Let's see the rest. Do you get up before noon or afternoon? Afternoon. <laughs> afternoon, right? At <laughs> one. Yeah. <laughs> Sunday, you say. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Let me see. I have here a very short example. I have here a very short exercise that we are going to use. I need you please to screenshot this because we are going to use it on the notebook. Okay. Here you have the exercise is from one to seven, right? Take a screenshot on this one here. Take a screenshot. Yay. A screenshot, screenshot. Do you have it? Yes. No, no. It Screenshot. Screenshot. Yeah. Good. Siempre salgo con los ojos cerrados, por eso les hago mal. <laughs> Screenshot. Good. Now, I am going to send you to working groups and I need you to work on that exercise. I need you to complete the sentences with at, in, on, around, early, late, until, after, right? 
depending on the information that you have, okay? Let's go to the groups right now. We're going to have a few groups, okay? Only four. Go ahead. Let's go and do the exercise together. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Go to the exercise, go to the exercise. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you to all the ones who have joined the groups. Thank you, thank you. Okay, good. Join the group, please. Go to the groups. I am missing only Jasmine. Jasmine, you are the only one missing to enter to the groups. Hello, hello. Hello, Jasmine. Hello, Jasmine. Hello. Hello, hello, Jasmine. Can you listen to me? Miss Jasmine. Hello, hello. Okay, we're going to go and check on the groups. Why, meanwhile, Jasmine, I don't know if you can listen to me because I am going to go and check on what your classmates are doing. Okay, so I am going to go and check on the different groups right now. Jasmine, if you can listen to me. Okay, so hopefully she's going to answer in a moment. Okay, okay. Okay, let's go to check on the groups. Thank you. Okay, I couldn't catch up on just, ah, yes, she could make it. That's very good. Okay, so let's go and visit the groups to see what they are doing. I, I got to bed also, o solo, yo le entiendo que podría ser también así. Ah, es que eh, lo de arriba es el ejemplo. Ya, donde no. Uh -huh. Hasta la medianoche. Ajá, pero aquí dice no necesariamente. Y yo, ajá, y ah, okay. Es como que yo me voy a la cama. Ajá. Pero lo Ajá. No. Midnight. Le podemos poner midnight. until. Until. I go to bed until, until. midnight. Ajá. Uh -huh. On weeknight. On, week. On weeknights. Ajá. Uh -huh. Podemos dejarlo así. Hmm. Ok. Ok. Vamos por la. ¿Están de acuerdo? Sí. Vale. Yes, yes, Maximo. Ok. I. 450. 4.50 in the morning on week, weekday. I get up for fighting for at 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 I get up at at four fifteen in the morning. Wait. Boo. 
Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Hi. Okay. Did you finish? No, mm. teacher. <laughs> Empezando. Okay, okay. Work, work. I'm going to check on the other group. Don't worry. One, two, la numero tres. Before, I don't know. On weekends. Before, no. ah. on. Hi. On before, weekends. No. Uh -huh, on Sunday. On. Before or after? Mm -hmm. Seven. I sleep before noon. Depend. Uh -huh. On Sunday. Before or after? Or oh, after. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Before or after? On mm -hmm. Sundays. On Sundays. On Sunday, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yo creo que sí. Done? Sí. Okay, good, good. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, good. Think money? No, no, no. It's not possible. Is it Tim Marie? It's a lamb. It's a lamb. Think money? Okay, think money? It's. Ini mini maini mo. Ini mini mini maini maini mi mo mo. Ini mini maini mo. Like thing mani the Ini mini mo. That that's in English. Ini mini maini mo. That's it. This one you said. Okay. Now we we learn something new today. Okay. Good. Let's go back then. Ese es el secreto de la eterna juventud. Hello, welcome back. <laughs> was, it, was it very difficult to finish the no, exercise? Uh... Hello. Was it very difficult the exercise, people? Uh, so, so, so. Because uh, we see the, the samples. <laughs> ah, because you, uh, yeah, you had the examples right there. Uh -huh. yes. and, and even with the examples, you were with the ini, mini, mini, mo. We learned how to say ting marin de dos pingüe in English. <laughs> I learned today. <laughs> yeah, I will learn today how to say yes. eh, ini, mini, mini, mo. It's like mini, thing, mini, 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 and the sentences were right here. It says, I get up six in the morning weekdays. What is missing here? Group number one. Tell me. Ya no sé qué grupo era, me vas. Group number one. Arnoldo, Damaris, Luis, and Maximo. What do you have in sentence number one? Damaris? I get up at six in the morning on weekend on weekdays. Ajá. I get up at six. ¿Por qué pusimos at six y no in six? At because is for um, specific. Specific time. Preposition of time is using to discuss a specific time, including yeah. reception such as night. Wow. Yeah. I read, I read, I read because I because but I understand the that is the that is very good. Very good job, right? And we say like specific, specific, and you gave us the complete 
explanation, <laughs> right? At six. Very good job. In the morning. Why in the morning? In the morning because in is the preposition of time. Uh, is yeah. used to discuss general times of day. Except okay. nine months and years. Very nice. Bravo, Damaris. Yes, Excellent. Thank you. Wow. Very, very Excellent. good. Excellent. Very good. Ahora le vamos a pedir a Damaris que nos mande esos pedacitos así en el chat para que nos recordemos todos. <laughs> okay. All right. Very good job. And on weekdays, right? On weekdays because, Damaris? On weekdays because this preposition of time is used to discuss certain days of the week or portion of days of mm -hmm. the week, specific days. Dates. Very nice. Yeah. You see, very good job, Damaris. Fantastic, fantastic the, job. The, the best you. group. The best group, number one forever. <laughs> <laughs> group one no, forever. Nosotros lo preparamos. Ah. We be quiet. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> group number two, <laughs> sentence number two. Thanks, Damaris. In group number two, Elizabeth, Evie, Nancy, Rosemary, and Sonia. Uh -huh. Sentence number two. Group number two, Alauna. Group number two. I go to bed at midnight on weekend. Weeknight. I, I go to bed at midnight on at midnight on Weeknights. Weeknights. Week Very night. good job. So, as Damaris explained before, say, in midnight or at midnight? At, at midnight. And on weeknights, because it expresses about portions of the day. Very nice. Thank you, Damaris, because you are a light for everybody right now. Sentence number three for group number three. Ana Maritza, Emperatriz, Iris, and Rosario. Number three. Grupo tres, please. Only one. Finger Kratik. Thank you, Nancy Gutierrez. Sentence number three. Group one again. <laughs> Group one forever. Is it? <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hello, Nancy. Go ahead. Ya ven, ahí está Nancy. No estén levantando falsos. <laughs> I, I start works. Que comparta las pupusas. <laughs> Niño. <laughs> I start work uh, 11 and half. Okay. Nine. What, 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 what? Uh, I start work. I start work 11. By, by the preposition? Sí. At. I, at. at. Very at. good. At. I start work at 11.30. At. Uh -huh. 11.30 at night. Very good. At, at. Right? Because night is at, an exception. At, at. At, at. Ex at. Okay. Group number four. Group number four. Sentence number four. Group number four was Ceci, Juan, Nancy, and Vilma. Ceci, can you Aha. Uh -huh. I have lunch at three in the afternoon on Friday. Very good job. Group number one again. Go ahead. Number five. I stayed, I stayed up at 1 a.m. on weekends. On weekends. Very good. Number six. Group number two. I have a little snack at nine o'clock in the evening. In the evening. And number seven. Any volunteer for number seven? 
sleep before noon. Before noon. On Sunday. On Sunday. I sleep before noon on Sundays. Excellent job. Excellent. Uh, teacher, teacher. Yes, my yes, yes. Group, my group tenía una question. Sobre... <laughs> ¿Cómo es eso que my group tenía una question? This is funny. Teacher, teacher looked at my group. O sea, tenía una question about a, a piece of something. O sea, una cosa de la clase. <laughs> Come on. Uh -huh. that, that was the question of your group. Go ahead. Uh, sobre about el, el no, about uh -huh. noun. Noon. Uh, no, no necesariamente. Bueno, <laughs> Máximo estaba recordando uno ejemplo. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> y aquí. Yo me I quedé con la pregunta. Help me. <laughs> Wait. I was like. Sí, teacher. Ajá, teníamos una pregunta de Nun, pero de ahí Máximo tenía una pregunta de Nun. Y yo. Ah, what? Yo y yo tengo la pregunta. What's the question? Ajá. In the past module. Ajá. Number one. Ajá. Eh. Solo aparecía midnight, no at. Ah, ok. The example. Midnight. O, eh, what time is it? Ah, when you say it's midnight. Uh -huh. oh, in the case, in the case of what time is it? Yes, you say it's midnight. In that case, you don't use a preposition because of the type of question. And you say like, what time is it? Ahí está preguntando qué hora es. And they have to give you on a specific time. It's four, it's three, it's two, it's one. It's midnight or it's noon. In that case, you don't use a preposition. But if I say, what time do you go to bed? Or you say, I go to bed at midnight. Because you say, a las doce. Right? And in the other one, you say, like, ¿qué hora es? No decimos, son a las doce. We say, it's noon. Noon. It's uh -huh. midnight. Midnight. Es medianoche, es mediodía. Right? En la pregunta, ¿qué hora es? What time is it? You don't use a preposition. But in the question, what time do you go to bed? What time do you eat lunch? What time do you sleep? I sleep at midnight. I, I eat at noon. Porque la respuesta es, como a las 12. Me acuesto a la medianoche. Right? El a la y a las es la preposición. Ah. Ya. Yeah, o sea que in the in question of time. The no, hour? no. In the question of the time, you say it's noon. It's midnight. Teacher. 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 Yes. Yes, Max. But, 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 are wh question. Ah, no, 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 no. But the purpose of the question. El propósito de la pregunta es la diferencia. Cuando me dice, what time is it? Es, ¿qué hora es? Y yo le digo, it's, it's noon. Okay. Es mediodía. Entonces, si me pregunta, what time do you eat? Ah, I eat at noon. Entonces, ahí el at, como les digo, hace la ah, función de a las al 12. Mediodía. Al mediodía, a las 12, a la medianoche. Ese a, a las, es la preposición. Uh -huh. okay. Thank you, teacher. That's the difference. That's the difference. Si va a decir a la medianoche, le pone preposición. Pero si eso lo le dicen es medianoche, it's midnight. Sin preposición. Without preposición. Sin preposición, no. Without preposición. No, it's Spanglish. <laughs> okay, good. So, uh, is it clear? ¿Queda claro el, el punto de la pregunta? Yes, yes teacher. Like Thank horchata. You. Ah, no, come on. <risa> si le decimos a las, ocupamos proposición. At midnight. Si no vamos a decir a la medianoche, al mediodía, no preposition. Okay? So that's the that's the reason of it. Okay, that's the reason of the preposition. And in this case, let me just continue here. I have another example for you. Here we're going to practice a bit more for us to avoid any of the questions. And in this one, I have here a general practice for the topics that we have studied. 
And in this case, it says, hello, I am Sara. And on the options of answers that I have here on the block, right? I, hear, I have here on this short so, square. Here. It says, hi, Sara, I am Rich. How are you? And we mark this one because we use it already. Pretty good, thanks. Are you a student here? What option will you use here? Pretty good, no, thanks. I'm, no, I'm not. I'm on vacation. Are you a student? No, I am not. I am on vacation. Are you a student? And it says, yes, I am. I am studying Spanish. What do you need here? In what are you studying? What are you studying? What are you studying, right? What are you studying? I am studying Spanish. Yes, she is. Is she your friend? No, she's not. She's my sister. No, but what is the question that you, what is the sentence that you need before for this oh, answer? Oh, really? Susan Miller in your class? Is Susan Miller in your class? <laughs> okay. Is Susan Miller in your class? Is it like, yes, she is? Is she your friend? No, she's not. She's, not. she's my sister. She's my sister. No, she is not. She is my sister, right? So we say, hello, I am Sara. Hi, Sara. I'm Rich. How are you? Pretty good, thanks. Are you a student here? No, no I am no. not. I am I on am. vacation. Are you a student? You a student? I am on vacation. 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 Are you a student? Vacation. And soon. Coming soon. Coming soon. Next week. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> what are you what studying? Are you studying? What are you studying? Studying, right? Studying. I'm studying Spanish. I'm studying Oh, really? Is Susan Miller in your class? Is Susan Miller in your class? Yes, she is. Is she your friend? No. She's not. No, she's not. She's my sister. She is my sister. Very good job. Now, we go with the next short practice. And in this one, right? I have here an example of a question. And I have here the answer. Are you on vacation here? No, I am not on vacation. I am a student here. What about the next one? It says, no, we are not from Spain. We are from Mexico. What will be the question there? Are you from where, Spain? Where? 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 Where do you analyze it? Analyze where do you from Spain? Ooh, let's see. Are you? Where are they from? Where are, are they, they from, from Spain? Are, are you? They? Okay, listen to the question. Listen to the, for, sorry, check on where the answer. Are you from? If you say, where are you from? En la respuesta tendría que ser, we are no, from no, Mexico. Mexico. We are from Guatemala, right? Yes. And in this one, we have a yes, no question. Question. A yes, no are question. We? And it says like, are, 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 are they are from, from Spain? Spain? Are, are we from oh, are Spain? Spain? Very good. Are you from Spain? Oh, Spain? Are you from Spain? And you um, say like, uh, say, are you, are you from Spain? From Spain. Mm -hmm. Porque alguien más le está no, preguntando, okay. right? And say like, no, no we're, not. we're not from Spain. We are from Mexico. Mexico. Because if you say, are we from El Salvador? Yeah, sure. but that it's not common that you ask yourself. Mm -hmm. En español, mm -hmm. sí. Oh, yes. En inglés, no. Yes, Mr. Sure. Luis? Uh, este... In the answer, uh, I need help you. Help me. In the answer, uh, se refiere a, a nosotros o a mí? No. Is this... for, for the we. Nosotros. Okay. Es nosotros, pero son los que contestan. Por ejemplo, imagínense que vaya caminando Máximo y yo en la calle. Vamos caminando. Hey, hey, hey. Turistas. And you say, hey, are you from El Salvador? And for sure you see us, and you say like, no, we are not from El Salvador, but we answer, right? ¿Quién nos pregunta? Any o sea person, que, right? 
are you uh, también es por it's for we, plural yes ustedes, it's for, ustedes. It's for, for plural yes. for taste refiriendo a taste and it's like two it's like plural a second person plural it's like are you from spain i can ask you or i can ask evie and sonia are you my students yes <laughs> we are Oh, con TikTok aquí. Oh, my God. <laughs> Come on. What but, is that? Teacher, yeah. but the answer, uh, prob probably, uh, ah. can, no, I not. También, ¿verdad? If it is, if, no, you are, we... if you are asking only one person. Ah. Ahí va a depender a cuántas personas les está preguntando. Ah. So, o si la, si la respuesta estuviera en, en I, igual sería la misma pregunta. For example, if I say, if I ask you, si te pregunto solamente a ti, are you from El Salvador? Yes, I am. Pero okay. si ya estás tú y tu esposa, you say, are you from El Salvador? Yes, no, we, we are. are. No, we are. No, yo soy de Canadá. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so... We are going to uh, we're going to complete this ones, right? Thank you, teacher, okay. for aclararme. No, it's okay. It's okay. That's the idea of this one, right? Are you from Spain? No, we're not from Spain. We're from Mexico. And next one, the the next one. No, they are not on the same basketball team. What would be the question? Are they on the same baseball team? Very good. Are they in the same baseball team? I see not. Ya vas a escribir. <laughs> Are they in the same baseball team? And it says no, they are not, right? They are not in the same baseball team. They are on the same volleyball team. What about the next one? Yes, Kim and Maya are in my class. Are Kim and Mika? And Mika. And Mika. Are Kim, Kim and Mika. Kim and Mika. In your in class? Your in class. your class, right? That's a good example of your. Very good. Are Kim and Mika in your class? Yes, Kim and Mika are in my class. And the next one. Yes, it's a nice class. How are your class? It's a yes, no question. It's not your class? What? what is, your class? is nice your class? Mm. Yeah. What does? What does? does? The, the question it? is correct, but you don't say, is nice your class? Is it? Is what? Nah. Is your class? Nah, is your class. Nice. And then it goes okay. at the end. Is, uh, is your, your class, class nice? nice? Mm. Is your class nice? Yes, it yes. is a nice class. And the last one. No, my teacher isn't Mr. Brown. I am in Mrs. West class. Is Mr. Is Mr. Brown your teacher? Is Mr. Brown your teacher? Is Mr. Brown your teacher? And it says, no, my teacher isn't my teacher Mr. Brown. Is I am in Mrs. West. Mrs. West. Yes. Very good job, my dear students. Tomorrow we are going to do another practice similar to this one. So we can continue practicing these little details. Have a beautiful night. And I am going to see you tomorrow, my dear students, for another class. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care. Have Bye -bye. a good night. Bye-bye.